Hello everyone. This is Dr. Sandeep Sharma here and we have a very very special guest today here. We have Dr. Sabya Sachi with us. A lot of students uh, you know they crack their super specialty exam immediately after passing their md and some of them are you know uh, just dedicated towards focusing on preparing and then cracking the exam but dr sabya sachi has got a score of 307 in neat super specialty and the special thing about that is he has been working doing uh, uh, night duties in critical care he has a family so he's giving time to his family also and squeezing out time and getting such a top rank such a top score is uh, you know something else totally something else so first of all dr sabya sachi congratulations and thank you so much sir thank and you. i think uh, aapne jo kiya hai this is uh, like uh, you know uh, you are going to be an inspiration for many of the students many students whether boys and girls uh, they are you know after doing md they are uh, doing some job many of them have families to attend to they have you know uh, they get married they have kids still they want to you know prepare for super specialty and your success has shown that all it needs is somebody to focus and get the uh, desired rank so how are you feeling right now i know it must be great right yes sir i'm really feeling very amazed actually i this was a dream for me i am last i did my md 3 4 years back mm -hmm. the thing is since then i had some obligations for my family i could not pursue my career further so when things stabilized i thought i should uh, start it again Mm -hmm. but i i was quite you know lag behind because three four years since md it's very difficult to keep it up again so um, so i motivated myself and i thought uh, i should be able to do it so then i tried and i tried hard so i think if i should i am approaching something i should approach it quite seriously mm -hmm. so i tried my best so the score whatever i got but, uh, but sincerely i have put a sincere effort to get it absolutely uh, without such a sincere effort i don't think anybody can get such a uh, great result so can you just before we go into your uh, technical details uh, can you just share your background like from where you belong to and from where you did your md and currently where are you working i did my md in uh, medical college calcutta um, after that i did a fellowship in pediatric critical care in bangalore only Mm -hmm. and the same institute that narana hudala that is narana institute of cardiac sciences so mm -hmm. after that i presently am working in the pediatric critical care in the narana institute of cardiac sciences mm -hmm. so as a junior consultant so since past two and a half years i am working here like that presently also i am working here the work schedule is quite tough here it is a very busy i see a lot of patients are there so and you also have your family tough schedule for me Yes, you also have your family with yes, you. Yes, sir. I have a kid also. I have a kid also of three years old. I have a kid, uh, child, I have a wife. So we all family uh, we have shifted to Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So makes it all the more difficult because now you have to study. You have to give time to your wife, to your kid, and also do hectic duties in critical care. We all know how critical care can be taxing for everyone. So it makes your uh, success all the more rewarding, all the more inspiring. So, uh, Doctor Sabir Sachi, can you just share what are the resources that you uh, went to? What was the role of Nelson, and what all other things helped you in getting this rank? So the thing is. Uh... when i first started i started with nelson mm -hmm. so truly speaking i i decided to uh, venture out for this neat ss some around 8 months back so that time i bought a new edition of nelson and when i started to read that i found it very difficult to grab that and remember everything so i was trying to find out some shortcut some way to you know get a grab on it so then uh, two things really helped me one i would say i don't know whether you know that you must be knowing there is a book called dr minakshi botra which is for neat pg madam writes a book for uh, neat pg entrance uh, mcq book yes so that book from top to bottom i have read two three times mm -hmm. and then i have taken a subscription from prep ladder and i have attended almost all the videos and i used to take a note of that so that in further i can uh, do a quick revision for them so those really helped me and particularly from nelson 
in your classes only you used to tell this part is important you should have a look on nelson so i uh, rigorously followed that also whenever you advise that i should go through nelson i tried to go through there so these are the only things i have read nothing much sir and all the mcqs also in prep ladder whatever was there so so every is all question banks and everything so did you give any mock exams also uh, did they help you in your pre preparation and all yes or sir i have almost all the mock exams i have given sir almost all the mock exams i have uh, attempted for in there only every month you usually uh, at the i mean end of every month new question papers is uh, i mean in prepared a website it comes in the app application so those i used to attempt and before uh, seven days of exam i only practiced those mcqs mostly and obviously the notes whatever i have taken okay. so those really helped me a lot okay so and um, i would say the nelson only those six uh, yes, please, please 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 continue uh, sir sir regarding uh, studying nelson i would say that that six sub specialties which super specialties are there those six chapters i mean those six subjects like nephrology or neonatology or hepatology those things i tried to cover from nelson particularly those six chapters okay super specialty subjects fine 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 and uh, uh, like what advice would you like to give you are a source of inspiration to many pediatricians who have after doing md taken a break or they have a lot of you know family commitments personal and professional commitments so they can't you know take out 8 hours or 12 hours of studies every day so what advice would you give to, to similar students who have a lot of responsibilities but still dream of getting a super specialty top rank i would only say that it's the inspiration only you need sir nothing else if you are motivated yourself if you have that uh, you know inspiration from inside that you have to get it then you will do it the time management can be done anywhere any time that's up to you but if you think that i have to do it then you will arrange your time in such a way so that you will get it otherwise i would definitely say there is no reason to give up it's all doable and definitely you should attempt it planfully you just cannot go haphazard and start reading from whole nelson and all so planfully go ahead and uh, please do not give up everything is possible i am 4 years post md so i have done it so i think it's it's not so difficult even if you know even if you are quite you know i have i have it and my when i did my md it was a two years two edition back of nelson so to be updated and everything it's it's possible it's not very difficult very well said very well said uh, dr sabhi sachi uh, like uh, your views about the super specialty exam standard like neat ss you have given the exam earlier it used to be a lot of one liners but this time every student i've interview i've taken they have said that it was more clinical oriented your views about the same and your uh, what were the areas you found easy and difficult so uh, more clinical oriented and mostly they are giving most of pictures photographs ecg etc to an eeg also even eeg picture also came in the question so i would say that if you are working clinically in a clinical setup where you are in you are used to seeing these things day to day practice it actually helps not only staying at home and concentrating only on studies books rather than if you work clinically you know it i what i felt if you have some experience in clinical field that really helps you at you know attempting the questions not only the going through the books and all so that's what i felt at help for me because x-rays also comes in uh, ecm so if they used to diagnose with them you'll be able to do it in the exam also but serious thing thing if you are find it so approach should be more clinical oriented i mean i would say that you should not only concentrate on studying books if you are all work, at the same time if you have some clinical attachment do that also sincerely because the question does not come only from books rather they are asking more clinical oriented more practical oriented questions so those things at least 20 to 25% questions will be like that if you have more practical experience 
if you are used to see day to day patients and more of clinical uh, uh, whatever investigations we do if you are more oriented to see them in exam also it will help it's not only that book oriented and it, you just go through and try to memorize the pictures and all it will not help you too much it's not possible so many x-rays and ecgs are there if you try to memorize everything it will not you will, you will find difficult to correlate them clinically on exam actually it's a you, you find only a minute to decide on an exam correct so if you are used to it you will it will be helpful to diagnose at that point of time also mm -hmm. so uh, what are you now planning to take up like uh, what branch and where are you planning to take it up now i i have a little fascination for cardiology so uh, i since i am attached to a cardiac critical care yes. so i would take pedi pediatric cardiology that is my first choice Great. So I'm trying to get a DM pediatric cardiology in Jaydeva in Bangalore. Yes, yes. So Bangalore, I will see that, but my choices are definitely cardiology. First. Yes, yes. And Bangalore has a lot of uh, places uh, where there are very good centers sir, for pediatric cardiology. So I think you'll get it for sure at okay. such a good rank. And uh, lastly, would you like to dedicate this uh, victory of yours to someone special, to people? Any shout out you want to give? no no i i uh, only i want to really thank my wife she supported me a very very helpful way i mean you know sir it's very difficult when i am concentrating on studies i used to come from duties and i used to lock myself inside a room and whatever i time i get i used to involve in studies and since last 6 months she is she is taking care all my family responsibilities financial responsibilities everything so i'm really really grateful to her and i am dedicating this Whole success to her on. She is also a doctor. She is an ophthalmologist. Okay, great, great, great. Wonderful to know that. I think um, having a, a supportive life partner, whether you are a, 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 a ladies or a gentleman, it makes a big difference in your success story. And as they say, behind every successful man, there is a successful woman. So uh, really, hats off to you as well as to your family, to your wife. and it was wonderful talking with you uh, dr sabisachi and i hope you will continue your uh, success story even later on and you will do exceedingly well in the field of pediatric cardiology so uh, congratulations once again and i hope you will do exceedingly well in pediatric cardiology and uh, all the best for your future and you are truly an inspiration for everyone even i myself i'm getting feeling motivated talking to you like uh, really commendable really commendable Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir.